Morning everyone. Today's reading is from John 10, 34 to 42, and it's Thursday the 29th of October. Now, when I read this passage, um, I actually started to think about it in the form of a discovery Bible study because actually I found it a bit more tricky to get um, initial thoughts about, about my reaction to it and things like that. So I'm going to go through things this morning in the same way because I found it most helpful. Now, with the discovery Bible study, it starts with saying, what does this passage tell me about God? And for me, a couple of things that then immediately stand out. Um, the first is that Jesus and the Father are one. Obviously, they're not exactly the same person, but they are part of the Trinity and they are um, both God. And John talked about that a little bit the last couple of days. But again, that he, Jesus reiterates this here and says, I'm, I'm God's son and, and, and sort of goes into that again. Now, obviously, in this passage, the Jews aren't, aren't particularly necessarily believing him and of saying that he's been blaspheming, but he, de he declares it again. Um, and he explains how that is the case by going through the miracles that he's done um, and saying, actually, even if you don't believe my words, look at what I've done and look what I'm doing and believe that, believe that I am the Father and he is me. Now, the second thing that this very clearly says about God is that scripture is God's word. Um, he Jesus talks about this when he is mentioning that um, sort of referring the Jews back to their scriptures um, about God calling the Jews gods um, earlier on in, in the scriptures and he's basically then saying here scripture is God's word and um, it was given to you by God it can't be broken and actually I found that really helpful um, for me now just because um, it just is that great reminder isn't it that when we read something in the scripture yes we have to take it in context and yes we have to understand more than that specific passage to understand it but actually we can know full well that it is God breathed and um, it, it holds true to what God is trying to say to us and, and what we should be setting everything up by and measuring things against. Now, the second part of the Discovery Bible study is what does this story tell me about people and about me? Now, again, my first thought um, was people can be really hypocritical. Um, people don't always get it right. And um, sometimes they speak about things they perhaps don't fully know about. And in this passage, it starts, doesn't it, by the Jews saying to Jesus, um, you're blaspheming, you're saying the son of, you're the son of God. And Jesus goes back to them, as we just mentioned, and says, isn't it written in your law, I've said that you're gods, if you called them gods, to whom the word of God came. Um, and he's basically saying, look, go back, see what your own scriptures say. Um, if you can call yourself gods, um, and um, in the scriptures he's referring to, there's um, places, parts of Psalm, Psalm 82 and 6, and Exodus 4.16, where um, it talks about this. Um, he's saying, if, if you can call yourself gods because um, you are, are agents of God's revelation, that you're sharing God's will, then how on earth can you tell me? And I almost imagine in my head when he speaks it, he's, to me, like as I read it, I think he's almost going, how dare you say that when actually I've got a much like greater claim to being called God um, than you you do and you're telling me that I'm blaspheming for saying that um, and that is my own attitude that I put on it but um, obviously that's just how it comes across to me um, so the sort of thing that comes out of that for me is just um, that revelation that we don't always know the full picture we don't always see everything and actually we do need to bring things back to God to know what he is saying about them um, and he might reveal something that we weren't aware of or, or didn't remember. Um, the other thing would be where sort of in terms of what it tells us about people is that um, we can't deny what we see with our own eyes. Um, God here, sorry, Jesus here is, is saying, actually, even if you don't believe me, look at the miracles I'm doing, look at the things I've done, and you will see that I um, and the Father are in each other. I'm um, the Father and he is me. And actually that's so true isn't it that actually we can believe what we see but we're not always great at believing what people tell us so coming to the next part of the discovery bible study if this is god's word for my life how am i going to obey it and 
the things that come out of the back of that for me is just believe in what we what we see God doing, believe in his miracles and, and through that we can believe in him. Um, as I just said, we're not always great at believing words, are we? But actually we're, we're much better at believing um, what we see. So when we have days where we doubt, when we have days where we struggle, actually we can come back to the truth that um, we've seen God already do. We can come back to our testimony. We can come back to the things that God has done in our lives and know that um, we can stand on those things he's already done to know what he promises ahead. Um, one of the things that also as I was praying about this passage and thinking about this passage that God said to me is this parallels quite strongly with how when we share the gospel actually um, it will come across to other people. So as I share the gospel with somebody, if I use words, quite a lot of the time I can find myself in a situation where um, people might just not believe me and that, that's fine if they're not... not um, wanting to believe me but um, a lot of the time that's sort of a barrier I can come against or they'll argue with me and they'll all end up in a bit of a debate does God exist does God not exist but actually I don't think I've ever had anybody argue with my testimony and who I am and God's made me to be so actually if we can um doesn't mean words aren't important sometimes of course they are um but actually, if we just remember that what we do, what we say, who we are, the transformation God has done in each one of us and our testimony is um, is something that people can't deny. They can see it with their own eyes. And actually, that's something that is our strength as well. And um, that's not to say, obviously, we have a gospel that is completely a gospel of grace and definitely something we should, should be sharing and, and saying. But we need to remember the power of our actions as well as the power of our words in that as well. Um, it also just reminded me recently of, of um, in some training I had, um, just the same thing of, of people sharing testimony of testimony of the times they come against barriers with words, but actually their action um, and just loving people as Jesus would and being Jesus to people was the thing that made the difference. And that's my final point for today. Just that reminder, us being Jesus will make the difference. I hope you have a great day. Thanks very much. Bye.